Hi, this is Mato. In this video, I will show you the game between Schlechter and Perlis. This was played in Karlsbad in 1911. White started with d4, black played d5, and after c4, c6, we have Slav defense. Knight to f3, black played bishop to f5 before pushing the pawn. But now white played queen b3, bishop is no longer protecting b7, black played queen to b6, not afraid of exchanging the queens, pawn takes pawn, black captured white queen, a takes on b3, bishop captured on b1, and now it is possible to capture bishop with the rook, white played pawn takes pawn. We have reached a very interesting position now. In the game, knight captured on c6. Question is, could bishop to e4 be played? First we'll continue with the real game. So black captured the pawn and then rook captured bishop. e6, e3, bishop to b4, bishop to d2. Knight from g to e7, bishop takes bishop, knight takes bishop, check, knight from e to c6, king to e2, white is slightly better, and won after 45 moves. But uh, we are interested in this position. Can this bishop be saved? Why black didn't play bishop to e4? Is that better move than capturing the pawn? What do you think? Would you play bishop to e4 or not? You can pause the video and you can try to find out if that is the good move. Okay, let's check what would happen if bishop to e4 was played. Well, if bishop to e4 was played, then black is losing. How? Obviously, taking pawn on b7 is not the move. What is the move? This is the move. Root takes on a7. Black must take back. And now c7. If knight goes to c6 then pawn is promoting to queen. What else? If bishop to f5 then pawn takes knight and promotes to queen. So that means in this position right move is knight takes on c6. Thank you for watching this video and I hope that you enjoyed it.